So many phones nowadays try to be the best at everything. They try to have the best battery life, processor, display, etc. Now while this is certainly a good move in theory, it's something that often fails in actual execution. Kodak is trying to make a return to the smartphone market with the Ektra, and while the device has a good display, processor, and more, Kodak is going all in with the camera system that's present here. I'm Joe Marin with Phone Arena, and this is our first look at the Kodak Extra at 500 feet above Las Vegas. Seeing as how the Ektra is a smartphone that's being made by Kodak, it shouldn't come as too much of a surprise that a great deal of time and attention is being placed on the phone's camera setup. The main sensor is that of a 21 megapixel nature with an f2.0 aperture. Phase detection, autofocus, and optical image stabilization are here as well, in addition to support for 4K video recording. The tech is certainly there for potentially great shots, but Kodak went a couple steps further to ensure that your experience while taking photos on the Extra is as enjoyable as possible. Kodak has created an all new camera app for capturing images on the Ektra, and while the overall look is quite reminiscent to any other camera launcher, the on screen DSLR like wheel for changing your shooting mode is a really nice addition for both aesthetics and overall functionality. And better yet, a two stage physical camera capture button is present on the right hand side of the phone an extremely rare breed in a smartphone these days. The overall design of the Kodak Ektra is perhaps one of the best ones we've seen for a camera for a smartphone like this, and while the overall footprint of the handset is certainly a bit larger than the likes of an iPhone or Galaxy flagship, it's still a great looking phone. A flat metal frame keeps the Ektra feeling nice and sturdy, and the black textured back makes the Kodak handset stand out from the sea of all metal smartphones that are currently on the market. Additional specs for the phone include a 5-inch 1080p display, MediaTek Helio X20 processor, 3GB of RAM, 32GB of internal storage that's expandable, and a 3000 mAh battery. All of these specifications are important, and while we'll dive a bit deeper into them in our full review of the phone later this year, our initial hands-on time with the Extra helped cue us into the fact that Kodak is thinking of this with the camera first and everything else second. We'll see how that gamble pays off when Kodak releases the Extra in the United States in April for the cost of $549 unlocked. While we weren't blown away with the photos we managed to capture on the Extra while cruising in the high roller in Las Vegas, we will say that the camera system here is promising and that we can't wait to try it out even more when it comes time to do the full review. There's plenty of other CES 2017 related coverage both here on our YouTube channel and on our website at phonearena.com, so be sure to check out all that if you haven't already. With that said, I've been Joe Marin with Phone Arena. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.